All right, guys, we're going to run Cine Bench. We have some scores over here. Uh, now, I'm doing this for my own purposes because I will be upgrading this computer if the money comes in the time I need it, which I hope it does for my Phenom X6. Um, I hope I get it by Thursday and have it all processed and done and purchased by Friday. And that way I just made the deadline. Hopefully they don't got a stock. Cinebench is something that kind of tests your CPU and I guess rendering in a, a high definition image or whatever. Uh, but it uses more CPU than GPU, believe it or not. So uh, uh, let's open up our task manager, shift, control, escape, performance, put it on live, update, um, high, no, we'll put it on, no, we'll, we'll leave it that way. And uh, we're just kind of running side by side due to the uh, Windows thing that's going on here. And now we're going to hit, oh, okay, there we go. So we can either run it CPU or GPU. So first we're going to run a CPU. So I'm kind of going to move this over. Oh, no. I'm having a hard time trying to do this, guys. Because you do want to see the whole image. And there's our grass right there, and I don't know why Task Manager wants to be so large. But now you'll be able to see him. Okay, let's run it. Okay. Running CPU benchmark. Actually, you might want to get my core temps here. So let me go get my temp. My core temps out and going so I can see my core temperature here. Processors are maxed out at... Cores are maxed out at 100. My processor is running at... ninety four ninety five degrees fahrenheit and this is how it makes the image and it's very slow and it's overclocked so this processor is not efficient for as you can see running a uh, high definition image Let's see if I can sit the camera down here it's not wide angle lens so some of it might get out the lens some of it might not So you guys can actually see how long it takes to render this image on this GPU. Got my custom cooler. I haven't even hit 100 degrees yet, which is kind of good. We're about to hit it. We're at 100 degrees. Check that out. High CPU usage by Cinema 4D. Now as you see, we're kind of getting out of the frame here. So I guess I gotta pick the camera up. The less detailed parts of the picture usually load faster. I am like chewing on a um, chip, so that's what you're hearing. We're at 102 degrees. I hate this camera, no focus. The cores are maxed out as you can see. Almost done the, the bench. There will be two separate videos. This one is running Cinebench on the processor. My next one will be running Cinebench on the Radeon 6570. And I bet you the Radeon 6570 can hand it, handle it so much more faster than the CPU. And we're just about done the image. Now, the rest of the image is basically just the background. But the most detailed part was this. It basically rendered the image. It created the image. That's what rendering is. You know, it is a preset image that the that is built into the application. But they're seeing how the processor renders it. How it draws the image. And draws a high quality image at that. So... Yeah, 
imagine you trying to do some serious editing like freaking uh, Adobe Elements. This processor wouldn't be the best thing for you. Alright, uh, this is the points I got. 1.86 points. And look at my score all the way at the bottom. So that is my score right there. I'm putting this on YouTube for my archiving so as I update my computers, update my processors, you know, I can keep a record on how good my performance was on my previous chips.